So it's time for another package from Fusion Retro Books. Let's unbox it. Another look for the retro shelf, and this one is. The Book of the Game of the Film by Jerry Ellis. Now, if you know Jerry's work, I worked with him on Arcade Imperfect, co authored that, and he also did the 8 bit book and following up Andrew Rowling's Spectrum book and my Commodore 64 book. The Book of the Game of the Film hundreds of 8 bit computer games were released in the 80s and early 90s as tie-ins with some of the world's most popular films, television programs, books, comics, pop groups, tabletop RPGs and Harley Street brands. This is their story. So this is a reprint for the Fusion Retro Books, signed by Jerry. Some praise for the book. Intro from Jerry. This was released in 2017. The introduction. And so then we got into the film part one from the big screen to the games machine. Dual Holtergeist Tron. So these are roughly in chronological order. ET Phone Home, Star Trek Spaceship Simulator, Chuck Norris Super Kicks, Four Keys for 2600, Mash, The Dark Crystal, Fantastic Voyage, My Name is Uncle Retro, Killer Gorilla, Godzilla. Blue Thunder, Westworld, Bruce Lee, War Games, Quest Holy Girl, The Evil Dead, from Palace Software, High Noon and Gremlins. There's actually two games, but this is looking at both the Atari Soft Action game and then the Adventure International Adventure game, Chiller, inspired by Thriller, Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai, Alien from Argus Press and Mind Games. Very interesting one if you've not played that one. Interesting intelligence in that one. Ghostbusters, a classic from David Crane. Give my regards to Broad Street, starring Paul McCartney, The Rocky Horror Show, Conan, Hold of Volta, which is in development as Volta, added the Conan license for Datasoft. Rocket Ball, inspired by Rollerball. Huge McGill, based on the Bond film. Uh, not a direct tie-in, but Rocky named after it. Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck games. Donald Duck's Playground, one I played myself. The Goonies, clever two-player game. You alternate between characters. Never-ending story. Blade Runner, which is licensed from the film score by Van Gallis and not the actual film. Rambo, First Blood Part 2. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, Friday the 13th, the computer game. Kung Fu Master, based on Spartan X. Back to the Future. Biggles, The Black Cauldron, Return to Oz, Top Gun, Space Camp, King Kong 2, Flash Gordon, Nosferatu the Vampire, Labyrinth, very important title, led to more famous Lucasfilm games, including Maniac Mansion and the Scum Engine, worth playing if you've not, Highlander, which was unfortunately terrible, Aliens, superb atmosphere in the UK version, the US version, different games, Perhaps not as good. Cobra, another poor tie in from Ocean. Howard the Duck, terrible game. Got a bad rating in Zap. Ride of Frankenstein, Short Circuit. Big Trouble on Little China. Roadrunner, Lauren and Hardy. Mystery of the Nile, The Living Daylights. Death Wish Free, very violent game. And then Jones and Temple of Doom. Wells of London, Basil the Great Mouse Detective, Star Wars. Young Shark. Master of the Universe, the movie. Platoon, one of Ocean's classic film times with the different sections. Predator, starring Charlie Chaplin. Three Stooges from Cinemaware and Sinbad and the Throne of the Falcon. The Empire Strikes Back, Psycho. Live and Let Die, Return of the Jedi, Robocop, Willow, Rambo 3, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Couple of Schwarzenegger films there, The Running Man and Red Heat. Jaws, again, got more than one game. Tom and Jerry, 
License to Kill, back with Bond, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. More Ocean, The Untouchables and Batman the Movie, two great games on the Commodore 64. Nightmare on Elm Street, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, Back to the Future 2, Ghostbusters 2. Die Hard, interesting version on the CC Source on the PC. Beverly Hills Cop, one of the last games from Tinesoft. Spy Love Me from Domark. Nightbreed, based on Cabal from Clive Barker. Days of Thunder, Robocop 2. Navy Seals, delayed because of the film being delayed. The Hunt for Red October, we've got two games. This is the later Grand Slam version highlighted there. Total Recall, Dick Tracy, an utter flop. Gremlins 2, Back to the Future 3, Elvira Mistress of the Dark, Predator 2, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Dark Man, Arachnophobia, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Robocop 3, it's excellent on C64 cartridge, Hudson Hawk, Everything Story 2, The Jetsons, Die Hard 2, Die Harder, Adam Sandler, Cool World, pretty much forgotten movie and game, that hook. Lethal Weapon, based on all the films, Alien 3, and Part 2, Program Programs, so from TV to Computer Game, The Prisoner, Drogma from the Adventure Game, Doctor Who, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Arthur's Zoom Pet, The Dallas Quest, The Magic Roundabout, Danger Mouse had more than one game, Terror Hawks from the Jerry Anderson series, Monkey Magic, based on Monkey, The Fall Guy, Super Ted, Airwolf, well known for being difficult, The Tripods, Blockbusters, Auto Man, Duke's Hazard, Supergram, again two games there. Minder, Robin of Sherwood, Bones Rat Race, Street Hawk, Kickstart. Well, they're not directly inspired because that's Kick, K I K. Thunderbirds, Battle of the Planets, that's a known game there. Adventures of Basil and Bond, the Russ Abbott character, and another strange one, Benny Hill's Madcap Chase by Don Priestley. Zorro from Datasoft. The Flintstones got more than one game. Max Hedrum and V. Play your cards right. Don't see make peace. The young ones. Spitting Image. Two games. The first one had to be renamed Split Personalities. The second one, tie-in. It's not so good. The young ones. Gets a bad press, but I enjoyed it. Clever idea. Split screen with characters. Countdown and Bullseye. Knight Rider. Terrible. Miami Voice. Disappointing. Scooby-Doo, The Trapdoor, based on the cartoon. Don't play the sequel, Free the Trapdoor. Treasure Hunt, It's a Knockout. Star Trek, this is the Rebel Universe, designed by the late great Mike Singleton. Alf's First Adventure, Grange Hill, another bad game there. EastEnders, Challenge of the Gobots, Tony Crowder and David Bishop working on that. Centurion's Power Extreme. Master of the Universe, again, we've got an action game and an arcade game and an adventure game. Nightmare, based on the TV series. There's a later version in 3D on the Amiga. Inspector Gadget was a real missed opportunity. Thundercats, Krypton Factor, Yes Prime Minister, Brave Star, Star Wars Droids, Bob's Full House and Every Second Count with Paul Daniels, Pink Panther, awful, awful game. The Monsters, El Equipo A, the A Team, Run the Gauntlet. Gilbert Escape from Drill, Defenders of the Earth, Hong Kong Fu in Top Cat, starring Be and Beverly Hills Cats from High Tech, both those. The Real Ghostbusters. Monty Python's Flying Circus from Core Design. Clever take on that. Ed the Duck and the Wombles. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, as they were in the UK. The Simpsons, the 64 got conversion of the Konami beat em up, which is great fun. Neighbours. Odd game where you're racing around Edinburgh. The Blues Brothers, excellent fun on the Commodore 64. Wacky Races, again from High Tech. Captain Planet. And then part three, Bands and Grandstands. Baby Thompson, Barbie, G.I. Joe. Weetabix, Mr. Wimpy, one of Ocean's early games. Eddie Kid Jump Challenge. Brian Jack Superstar Challenge, both from Martech. Frankie Goes to Hollywood, superbly designed game by Denton Designs. Thompson Twins Adventure, which was on a flexi disc on a magazine. Jack Charlton's Match Fishing from Alligator. Action Biker featuring Clumsy Collins, sponsored by KV Skips. Frank Bruno's Boxing, in both from Test Match. Beetle Quest Adventure based on various Beatles games, songs. 
Tour de France, Harvey Smith show jumper, Jeff Cape strongman, also from Martech there. Disappointing game. Transformers, two versions there. Zoids, the battle begins from Martech. Tubular bells from New Wave, an unusual light synthesizer. The terrible and not very good looking Samantha Fox strip poker. Hot Wheels from Epics. Action Force and Action Force 2 from Virgin. Gary Lineker's Superstar Stalker, there's actually three different games there. So you've got Superstar Stalker, which is based on an ice hockey game. Super Skills, which is training in various things. And Hot Shot, which is an overhead football game. Brian Clough's Football Fortunes, which is a combination of board game and computer game. Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix, sadly not released on the C64. Mask, tie into the toys. The Muncher, sort of like Rampage, but with much bigger monster and tie into the Chewitz advertising star. Gaza Super Soccer, which was terrible, and Gaza 2, which was worse. California Raisins, very strange tie in there. Sabutio, Mad Mix, the Pepsi Challenge. Spot the computer game. When cool Spot and games like that came out, this was a board game based on Spot. WWF WrestleMania, more than one game here again. You've got the arcade game and European Rampage from Ocean, and then the uh, Micromania Wrestling, where you actually had digitised pictures, of them, which is a strange one. McDonald Land, part four. The part of the book of the game of the film about games about books, games about comic books, and games about games and game books. So we've got the legendary The Hobbit, The Warlock of Bartok Mansion, Mountain, DC's Quest for Tires, tie into the cartoon, The Snowman, Stainless Steel Rat Saves the World, Hunchback, Popeye, The War of the Worlds, Computer Adventure based on the Scottish play, Press Probe featuring the Hulk, one of the series, of more were planned, Spy vs Spy based on the Mad comic, Strong Team Dog from 2000 AD, Lone Wolf from the comics, from the game books, should I say, Battle Cars, and Talisman from Games Workshop, I love the Talisman War game, the computer game was an interesting idea, Spider-Man, Got more than one game, Buck Rogers got more than one game, Saga of Eric Viking, The Fourth Protocol by Electronic Pencil Company, very interesting icon driven game that. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Rupert and the Toy Makers Party, and then there's Rupert in the Ice Castle as well. Seas of Blood, another fighting fantasy time. Secret Diary of Adrian Mole and the Growing Pains of Adrian Mole from level 9. Batman, the isometric game on the Spectrum, and then the Batman the Cape Crusader. Both by Ocean. Superman got more than one game, but not very good. Fantastic Four, another in the Crest Code series. Three games based on Eagle Comics Dan Dare. The first one is the best, particularly on 64. Shogun from Virgin, based on the book by James Clavell. The Way of the Tiger, but you're going to play a game in that series, play the second one, Avenger. Lord of the Rings, Trivial Pursuit, very good game based on the board game with extra questions you can load in. Asterix and the Magic Cauldron, Judge Dread. There's two Judge Dread games, neither of them much cop. The Color of Magic, an adventure game by CRL. Uh, with a good sense of humour, tried to put across the comic. The uh, books, Tarzan, Rogue Trooper, and Nemesis the Warlock from 2000 AD. Not a penny more, not a penny less from the Jeffrey Archer novel. Shadows of Mordor, the next one in Lord of the Rings. How to be a complete. Starring Adrian Edmondson from The Young Ones. Oink, tie into the comic, later given away on Commodore format as Pigtails. Schlanya from 2080. Samurai Warrior, Battles of Usagi Ujimbo, very clever game. Beautiful cartoon artwork. Andy Cat, based on the British cartoon. Garfield, there's two games there, Big Fat Who Deal. There's the comic adventure, and then the mini games of Winter's Tale, which is very tricky. Roy of the Rovers. Odd game that. Captain America in the Doom Tube of Dr. Megaloman. Not very good. The Crack of Doom, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, so the SSI games, which are great fun, role playing games. Snoopy, another one from The Edge. Tintin on the Moon. X Men, interesting. Very early tie into that. Dr. Doom's Revenge, poor game there. Famous Five on Treasure Island. Viz the game, tie into the British comic. And Hero Quest. 
and the end. And then looking at the last couple of pages here, so you've got index coming soon from Fusion Retrobooks, the reprint of Arcadian Perfect by Jerry Ellis and someone called Andrew Fisher. And also available is Jerry Ellis's The 8 Bit Book, looking at other 8 Bit Micros. So there we go. That's the book of the game of the film reprint available now from Fusion Retrobooks.